Why hello there and welcome to this quick video looking through Promo Brick's article about the Lego Indiana Jones sets that are going to be coming out this year after over 10 years since the theme last got set. So without further ado, let's go. So currently it is known that there is going to be 8 Indiana Jones sets that are going to come out this year. Three of which have been named as the Fighter Plane Chase, Escape from the Lost Tomb and the Temple of Doom. The first two being in the $30 price range and the last being just under $80. The other five sets we do not yet know what these are going to be called or based on or their price just that they're going to be coming out with these sets as well. We do know that one of these sets is going to be $149.99 99, quite possibly being the largest 18 plus set that is in this wave. The smallest set is going to be Fighter Plane Chase with about 300 pieces and is based on the Last Crusade scenes, similar to the Fighter Plane Attack set from 2009. The description that Promo Bricks have given of this set tells us that the designers have decided to let the two heroes drive the stolen Citroen convertible. This car will be eight studs wide and should therefore be in good hands in any speed champions collection. And the Pilot P2, so the plane, is still included in a revised form with stud shooters attached to both wings. And we'll have three minifigures of Indiana Jones and his father, Henry Jones Sr and the fighter pilot. Next we have Escape from the Lost Tomb which is again probably a remake of the 2009 set in Jenny Jones and the Lost Tomb. Obviously based on the Raiders of the Lost Ark where they just discovered the Ark. This one is going to have 600 parts to it and it is about $40 as previously stated. It is described as at around 24 studs wide and is of similar size to the old one. It's built in a much more sophisticated way using different stones, so different colours probably, and does not require large scale stickers. But there are some stickers for different hieroglyphs used and will have two much larger and more detailed Anubis statues. And of course, the Ark of the Covenant is going to be there as well. This set is going to have four minifigures of Indiana Jones, Marion Ravenwood, Sala, and a mummy. Next, we have the Temple of Doom, so obviously from the movie Temple of Doom, and probably just a remake again of the 2009 set theme here. This one is for about 80 euros or dollars, because this site seems to have flipped a lot between the two. And we'll have 801 parts with minifigures of Indiana Jones, Willie Scott, Short Round, Mola Ram, the Majahara, and a buggy guard. It's going to be the centre of the temple raised on a pedestal of grey pieces around which are built various trans orange pieces representing lava. It's going to have a large statue of Kali as well as the skull altar with the three stones that get placed into it, which can be made to glow by means of light stones in the background. The trap door can be opened in the middle of the platform, just like in the film, and then we obviously have the grey roller coaster tracks that run behind the pedestal and diagonally to the right of the pedestal, with two mine carts on the rails. And there will also be a water tower as well, which was also seen in the movie. The rest of the sets are currently unknown, probably going to be based on the new movie coming out soon and possibly one from Crystal Skull but that is not the most popular film so it might not get any set for all we know. So yeah that about covers all the information we have about these sets. I would probably be very interested in getting these sets being trained as an archaeologist myself and Indiana Jones being one of the reasons why. I got into archaeology in the first place. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I shall see you when I see you. Goodbye.